guys. So, as I said, my name is Megan Bear, and I'm a freshman. Yeah. And on the outside, I probably look totally healthy, right? On the outside, I probably look totally healthy, right? However, on the inside, it's a completely different story. Tonight, I want to share with you the amazing impact that the Children's Hospital of Pittsburgh has had on my life. I have been a fighter since the day I was born. I was born deaf and fitted with hearing aids at age four. Now, fast forward to 2006, when my family moved to Pittsburgh. I was in need of a new audiologist. That was my first experience with Children's Hospital. Through the years, my hearing became progressively worse until I was profoundly deaf in my left ear. Although I was devastated to have lost my hearing, it was at this point that I met the surgeon that would change my life forever. I underwent the placement of two cochlear implants during the summer of 2010. With intense therapy, I successfully learned to hear. I was constantly amazed at my new hearing world. I could hear my mom calling me from across the room. I could talk on the phone for the first time in my life. And I was able to hear my teammates on the basketball court and the soccer field. With the increased ability to hear, my academic success improved dramatically and my confidence soared. My future was bright. During the summer between my sophomore and junior years of high school, I injured my finger while on a mission trip and subsequently had surgery. All seemed to be going well with my recovery until one day in October, while I was at school, I developed excruciating pain in my hand. This led to me being diagnosed with complex regional pain syndrome, or CRIPS for short. Mine is an aggressive form of CRIPS, not typically seen in kids. While I have become somewhat accustomed to living with chronic pain, there are times when I have such severe spasms in my legs that I am unable to walk. These spasms can only be alleviated by a week-long IV treatment. I was the first patient at Children's Hospital to undergo a special treatment that is only available in a few hospitals throughout the country. While it isn't a cure, the treatment regimen that has been customized to treat me has helped to alleviate some of my pain and other symptoms. Since January 2013, I have had 14 week-long admissions for these treatments. Without this treatment, I would not have a great quality of life, and I would not be the active skier and martial artist I am today. If it were not for the brilliant pain management team at Children's Hospital, who possess the extraordinary ability to think and treat patients outside of the box, I would not be walking and standing before you as a fellow Pitt student. As a result of the complex regional pain syndrome, I developed several other conditions that affect my body in various ways. Because some of these conditions are so rare and hard to treat, I have seen and continue to see several different doctors. The specialists I've seen at Children's are truly outstanding. Here is a great example of people going the extra mile at Children's Hospital. In April 2013, complications following procedure led me to be admitted to the Pediatric Intensive Care Unit, or PICU for short. Being in the PICU was especially scary for me because when I got there, the doctors and nurses brought me back from the brink of death. And unlike the regular inpatient floors, patients in the PICU have to stay in their rooms. Honestly, that gets pretty boring after a while. One day, my nurse asked if I wanted to play a game. To my surprise, she actually came, sat in my room, 
and played a couple of card games with me while we listened to music and talked. She probably had a million other things to do, but for that hour, helping me to feel more comfortable was her priority. This nurse was a shining star in my unexpected PICU experience. Children's Hospital provides not only me, but countless others hope in the face of adversity and oftentimes overwhelming odds. Over the years, the doctors, nurses, secretaries, physical therapists, housekeeping staff, and even the ladies in the gift shop have become like family. My treatments, procedures, and admissions are brutally difficult. But with so many people rallying their support, it helps to make my situation a little bit easier. I know that there are children much younger than I in very difficult and even life-threatening situations. As I walk the halls of the hospital, I am truly inspired by their fighting spirits. I can't even begin to imagine my life without all the blessings that I received from the extraordinary staff at Children's Hospital. Miracles do happen there, and I am living proof. We must stand up together and fight until every child is freed of hospital bracelets and every disease is cured, because no child should have to suffer. As you continue to dance, I want to leave you with these words that have served as my motto since I was four years old. When the going gets rough, keep your chin up and charge the mountain. For the kids.